Here's a iPad Air fourth generation. You have an issue where you're stuck in a boot loop or it's constantly restarting. I'm gonna help you get you up and running right now. So take note that this one here is actually fixed, but again, your issue is just keeps restarting, okay? You keep seeing the Apple logo, then it turns off. Basically, the iPad is turning off, then turning on, turning off, turning on, okay? Anyway, I'm gonna get you guys up and running, and by the end of this video, at least 65% of you guys should be up and running, okay? And these are all easy steps that you can do right now, okay? So the first thing I want you to do is you have a case on here, take the case off, okay? The next thing we're gonna do is what we're gonna do is we're going to force it to restart. How do you force it to restart? It's a three key combination. Now take note that this is the iPad Air fourth generation. This is not gonna work on the first, second, or third because the, they have a uh, physical home button. The fourth generation doesn't have a physical home button, so it's a different way to force restart it. Anyway, how you force restart it, it's a three key combination. What you wanna do is you wanna press the volume up, volume down, and then press and hold this power button, and do not let go until we see an Apple logo, okay? So let's pretend I'm stuck in a boot loop here. I keep seeing the Apple logo, then it's turning off, then it's turning back on. So just do this, okay? Force it to restart, ready? Go volume up, volume down, press and hold that power button. Now keep on holding to that power button, okay? And we're gonna wait till the Apple logo appears. So I'm still holding on to the power button here. Just wait here, keep on holding. Now the screen turns black, now it's just turned off. Now it's gonna turn back on, and we should see the Apple logo. See the Apple logo? Take off your hand off the power button quickly, okay? Now let go ahead and let it boot up normally and hopefully now you are out of the boot loop. If you're still stuck in a boot loop, we're gonna to go to the next possible solution. Okay, so you're still stuck in a boot loop, no problem. So what we're gonna do next is this, okay? First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna spam the power button and the volume rockers, okay? So just start off with the volume rockers, uh, volume up, volume down, volume, just go like this, keep on doing this and also the power button, okay? Now, the whole premise behind this, get the power button and just spam it. If it's stuck, jammed, loose, maybe you got coffee in there, water, sweat, lotion, it can cause a boot loop in there as well, okay? So just keep pressing it, make it nice and loose there. Now, what we wanna do is go ahead and plug it in. You wanna give it a little bit of power, we're gonna plug it in, just like this, and pretend I'm still stuck in a boot loop, okay? So from right here, while it's plugged in and charging, pretend I'm stuck in a boot loop, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna force it to restart. Remember, volume up, volume down, and then press and hold this power button and do not let go until we see an Apple logo. Okay, so we're gonna do this together. Ready? Pretend I'm still stuck in a boot loop here. Ready, go. Volume up, volume down, press and hold this power button and do not let go, okay? So I still have it plugged in. I'm holding onto the power button. I'm waiting for that Apple logo to appear. As soon as it appears, I gotta let go quickly, okay? So still holding. It's turned off. Where's that Apple logo? There it is, and then let go of the power button and let it boot up normally and hopefully you are out of the boot loop. If not, we're gonna to go to the next possible solution. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do here is first thing, go, you can go ahead and unplug it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and lay the iPad directly on your desk like this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab two fingers and we're gonna tap all over the screen and all over the back of the iPad as well, okay? And the whole premise behind this is it's possible you have something slightly dislodged, and believe it or not, a couple taps can pop it back into place, and you're um, all of a sudden it will um, you, you'll be out of the boot loop. Okay. Anyway, hold hold the uh, iPad like this on your desk. Grab your two fingers. Pretend I'm still stuck in a boot loop. Now just kind of tap, kind of hard all over like this. Okay. Now even as you're doing this, you can still you know your um, iPad still restarting over and over. Sometimes as you're doing this, all of a sudden, boom the screen will pop on, okay? You'll be out of the boot loop. Sometimes you'll get like a maybe a half a screen or you might get white lines. Let's keep tapping all over like this. All over, okay? Even on the sides here. Now, turn it over and do the same thing here, okay? Tap everywhere, everywhere on the back as well, okay? Even around the camera lens here, tap around the lens. All the way down. Now turn it over and see if you are out of the boot loop. If you're still stuck in a boot loop, no problem. We're gonna force the restart. We'll do it together, ready? Go, volume up, volume down, press and hold this power button and do not let go until we see an Apple logo appear, okay? So just keep holding onto the power button. Just wait, this is getting ready to turn off. It's off, now I'm waiting for it to boot back up for the Apple logo. As soon as I see that, I'm gonna let go of the power button right there. 
let go of the power button and hopefully you are now out of the boot loop. If you're still stuck in a boot loop, we're going to go to the next possible option. All right, so you're still stuck in a boot loop, no problem. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing here, okay? We're going to go ahead and hold the iPad flat on your desk. And what we're going to do this time, instead of tapping, we're going to go ahead and press. Press with your thumbs, okay? You can, you, you can press like this, but you might like smudge it up. You can use a rag or a cloth or a paper towel or something. There's a whole premise behind the tapping, okay? So what I want you to do is press. Press, okay? Pretend I'm still stuck in a boot loop here. Just press. Press. And sometimes you hear a little click and all of a sudden the uh, iPad will boot up properly, okay? Anyway, just keep pressing here, okay? Again, sometimes you might get half the screen. You might get white lines. Just press. Press. Press all over. Press. Press. Still stuck in a boot loop. No problem. We're going to turn it over. And we're going to do the back here, okay? Press. Press, okay? If you're pressing back here and all of a sudden you hear a little click, just turn your iPad over. Give it a second. See if it boots up properly, okay? Anyway, just keep on pressing even around the lens here. Press down. Press down. Press all over. Now turn it over. And if you're still stuck in a boot loop, no problem. Force it to restart again, okay? Remember, volume up, volume down, and then press and hold this power button and do not let go until you see the Apple logo appear, okay? Now, hopefully you are now out of the boot loop. If not, we're gonna go to the next possible step. So the next possible step here, if you're still stuck in a boot loop, is what I call the smack method. Why? Because we're gonna go ahead and smack the iPad. We're gonna smack the screen and the back, the whole premise between the tapping and the pressing, okay? So we can start off on the back here. Just hold your hand out like this and grab the iPad like this and just give it a couple whacks like this. And sometimes if you're doing this too, all of a sudden you'll see your screen boot up, okay? Or you might see white lines or half the screen. Don't forget the bottom of the iPad as well, okay? Give it a couple whacks there. And now you want to go ahead and smack the screen as well, okay? You can use a cloth. You don't want to smudge up the screen, but just go ahead and grab it like this and we're going to do the screen now. Give it a couple of whacks there. Also on the bottom of the screen, okay? Give it a couple of whacks. Turn it over and see if you are out of the boot loop. You're still in the boot loop, no problem. From here, we're going to do the same thing again. Remember, volume up, volume down, and then press and hold that power button. And do not let go until we see the Apple logo. As soon as you see the Apple logo, let go quickly. Okay, hopefully you are up and running now. If not, we're gonna to go to the next solution. So the next step is this. What I want you to do is grab your iPad like this naked, okay? Make sure you don't have no case on it or anything. Go to your freezer. Put this in your freezer. Leave it there for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, I want you to come back to your freezer, grab your cold iPad out of the freezer, and I want you to do the same thing. Sometimes as you leave it in for 15 minutes and you open the freezer up and you pull your iPad out, Sometimes, all of a sudden, you'll see that your screen is on, okay? You're out of the boot loop. Anyway, if you're not, then again, same thing. With the cold iPad, you want to force it to restart. Remember, volume up, volume down, and then press and hold that power button, and do not let go until you see the Apple logo appear. Now, the thing is, if you tried all of these steps, and you're still stuck in a boot loop, then what I would suggest is start with step one again, and try every single step again, all the way to the freezer. If it's still down after the second time, then try it three times, four times, five times. Try it up to at least seven times because sometimes the seventh time is a charm, okay? So if this worked for you, uh, give me a thumbs up or a like. Comment which method worked for you. If it didn't work for you, give me a thumbs down. Now, if you tried all these methods at least seven times, we should see at least a 65% thumbs up ratio, okay? Good luck, guys.